Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Decryption and I hope you are well. I'm working on this new scene and as you can see, everybody is currently T-posing. And this is a new Cinti pack, racing pack, and I just figured I'd make this quick video just to show you my process of going through and rigging them up and then removing the T-posers. So the first step I always go through is I find the animations I want. So if you jump over to Mixmo.com, that's the animations I'm going to be using today. It's by Adobe and they don't have every animation in the world but they do have a lot to get you started. But this process should work for any animations you can get. If you can import it into Unreal, this process should work for you. <clears throat> so for Mixmo, I'm just going to set up a free account and join in and then I can start searching for the animations I want. So I've searched for idle, so I've found some idle animations I want such as this breathing one and sometimes the website glitches out and you won't actually see anything but you're supposed to preview the animation but I've used that one before so I'm just going to hit download and then I'm going to make sure my settings are set so the skin is without skin the format is FBX and the frames per second I'm just going to use 60 for me and then I'm going to click download and that should start downloading immediately the only other thing you need to be careful of when using Mixamo specifically is if you select an animation that's meant to walk such as this one here um, you will have a tick box of in place. Unfortunately, Mixamo does not support Unreal's version of root motion, so you cannot use the animations that walk forward. It'll just constantly glitch out. So just make sure you tick the in place if you're getting an animation that's moving. The only thing you need to do on Mixamo when you download the first animation is just make sure you've got at least one of them ticked with skin. All the others can be without skin to reduce the file size. But the first one needs to have a skin, so Unreal knows how to create the skeleton for the model. Next, we need to load these animations into Unreal. So I'm just going to come and create a folder here called Animations. And inside here, I like to create a source folder for where the animations have come from. So I'm just going to type Mixamo, so I know where they've come from. So I'm going to right click, import, and I'm going to select my skinned Unreal mesh. And as you can see, it will generate a skeletal mesh there. So we can just tap import all. And it will import the body from Mixamo and the animation, but it will also create the skeleton for us. There we are. If you were to find the animation sequence here, you can double tap it and you'll see it's successfully animating. So now that we've got that, we can successfully import the other animations without the skins. And then you'll see, because I'm importing it into the same folder, it's automatically selected the root animation, the root skeleton, so I can just import all. And now we should easily just be able to come and select any of these animations and you'll see they'll start animating based on the model we've imported. So, so far it's looking good. So now what we need to do is we need to be able to tell a way for Unreal to understand that this skeletal mesh here it needs to understand where all its bones are and then we need to tell it the exact same thing for these Cinti models so it can map the bones together and this is called retargeting and it's really easy to do it'll look daunting at first but it, it but once you do it a few times you'll pick it up like clockwork so what I'm going to do inside this Mixamo folder is I'm going to right click I'm going to choose animation and the first thing I'm going to do is go to the IK rig and I'm going to create an IK rig here I'm going to call it IK rig underscore Mixamo so I know that that IK rig belongs to the Mixamo pack and I'm going to open it up we need to select a preview skeletal mesh so I'm going to come and find my skeletal mesh from this pack here and drop it in and you'll see we'll get our t-pose animation so now we need to start telling it some key components about this model and it used to be different in Unreal 4 but Unreal 5 they make the process a lot more streamlined so I'm going to come and tick add new chain here in the IK rig targeting tab and I'm just going to call this one head and I'll add chain and then I'll come and do it again for root and I will also come and do arm underscore L arm underscore or R for left and right arms and then I'll do the exact same things for the legs and that's all the ones I'm going to do if you were to open up the meta humans for example they would have a lot more chains but they've got more in-depth muscles and bones in their armatures whereas the basic Cinti pack you kind of okay but if you need some more then you can just add it to it so all we're going to do is the start bone will be from where the name of the chain begins to where it ends so the head will be begin at the neck here and then it will end at the head. The root will just be 
the hips and then it will be the hips again like so. The arm L will begin at the shoulder and it will end at the hand and then you just need to repeat this process for the right shoulder and the right hand. Then for the legs it's the exact same process so left up leg, left foot, right up leg, right foot and of course if you want to rig the toes, the feet, the fingers, anything like that you can add more chains and just simply follow the same process. For me I just need the core basics done and now the next thing you need to do is just come to the hips up here right click and I'm going to set retarget root. If yours has an official root model that sits at the bottom make that the root instead but in this case from Mixmo I'm just going to make the hips and I'm going to save that. Now we've done that I'm going to come back into my animations and I'm going to create a new folder for my Cinti pack. So I'm going to call it Cinti Polygon Street Racer. Now the unfortunate part of the Cinti packs is every single pack uses a different skeletal mesh. You, in some cases you can merge the skeletal meshes and tell the race pack to use the city pack skeletal mesh but in my case in my experience it's gone wrong more than it has right if you're using multiple packs in one game you will have to do this multiple times for each pack but thankfully it doesn't take very long so i'm going to come and do the exact same thing in here i'm going to create a new animation ik rig called ik rig polygon street racer so i'm just going to click on one of my actors in the scene and i'm going to tick the little find button to open it in the content browser and then i'm going to jump back to my ik rig and i'm just going to drag this in there like so there we go so we now have the rig he is t-posed which means this should work really nicely and i'm going, just going to repeat the exact same steps take care to name them the same otherwise it'll just cause some more work later there we go and the order doesn't matter but if you keep it in the order it makes it a bit more easier later so now i'm going to come back through again and just using the same process the head starts at the neck and ends at the head the root is the root and the root is the root again and the arms will start at the clavicle and end at the low the hand if you find that this is rotating weirdly you can drop it down to the upper arm and you might get a better animation with it but i'm going to leave it at the clavicle for now and then for the legs the exact same thing at the thigh down to the foot and the leg thigh the right thigh down to the right foot like so and then I can come up to the root and you'll notice that the root on this Cinti model is at the base instead of at the hips you need to set it to the same bone so I'm going to right click the pelvis instead and I'm going to set that to the retargeting root if you don't your character will float and it'll look weird and with that all done we can now cross this off and you will see we now have two rig rigs one for the mixamo and one for the street racer so now we need to join them together and tell them real this is your Cinti rig this this is your Mixamo rig, join them together. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to come to my animation and I'm going to hit IK rig and IK retargeter and I'm going to call it IKR underscore and I'm going to call it Mixamo underscore two underscore polygon street racer. You can call it whatever you like but I like to do it this way so I can see what asset pack it's from and what it's going to. So in this case it's getting the animations from Mixamo and it's applying it to the polygon street racer pack. So I'm going to double click this open and you'll see the first pop up says to copy the animation from. So which rig are you copying the animation from? Well I'm copying it from Mixamo so I'll tap that. And where am I copying the animation to? I'm copying it to the street racer so I'll tap that and if it's successful so far you will see that both of them should be t-posed in the same place the height is slightly different but that but unless you're going for an absolute accurate animation you should be okay and now with this test we can hit the chain mapping window here and you need to make sure that all of these are mapped up if they're named the same or very similar Unreal will try its best to map it up but if you've named it differently even capitals in some cases you'll just need to map it up and that's as simple as seeing its root mapping it to the root. The source is the Mixamo model and the target is who you're applying it to so for all the targets chains here's the source you want to map it to and with that you should just be able to open the asset browser and double tick an animation and you can see it's all rigged it's all animating you can't really see it so I'm just going to click in the background and here you can see target mesh offset I'm just going to drag it along ever so slightly so he moves out there we go so you can see he has slumped down and he is doing the breathing animation let's try a different one there we go so his arms are moving he's successfully animating like it is let's try the helping out one so you can see he's successfully animating perfectly it snaps back at the end there that's a problem with the animation but we can sort that another day and you can see the important thing is both of their feet are the same levels if your animation is at waist height it means you have set the root node on the animation so simply just open up the IK rig 
for your pack and then just make sure you right click in the correct place. So with that now done it's time to export the animations and it will create a duplicate of the animations so if you have 50 packs you may need 50 versions of the animations but they're really lightweight anyway. So I'm just going to select all these animations because I know I want them all in some variation and I'm going to simply hit the export selected animations here. I'm going to go into my animations and my Cinti Polygon Street Racer and I'm just going to export and it'll duplicate all the animations and retarget it. Theoretically now you could go and delete all of the Mixamo animations but I leave that until I'm about to deploy the game anyway just in case I need to reuse it for another pack. And that's it ladies and gentlemen you can now officially take your new exported animations so I'm going to select all of my polygon racers here and I'm going to set the animation mode I'm just going to use a simple animation asset for now and your anim to play you should see your animations here. So I'm going to come and take the breathing idol and you'll see they've all animated into the correct place looking very nicely. I've noticed that I've copied across a dummy animation it brings along when you first import it. Nobody wants that, so I am just going to go and delete that and delete it. There we go. Perfect. So now with this guy, he's working on his truck, so I can come and give him the helping out animation. There we go. So he should start working on that in a bit. These two girls over here, I want them to just animate ever so slightly differently. So let's just grab one of them, and I will set you to standing idle. So they've got a different pose, and I will set you to be just a normal idle, just like so. Just to give it some more variation. You can now download multiple animations as many as you want to really give it some variety and then I could even download a talking animation for these two so I'll just stick a, an idle one on here there we go so now if we were to play the game you will see that they are breathing he's working on his car and I've positioned him in a decent place unfortunately he will snap back but that's something I just can fix in the animation. He's breathing nicely with his fantastic moustache. And there you go. That is the process I use, ladies and gentlemen, to import and re-rig my models. This can apply to any model pack you import. It doesn't have to be Cinti. If you buy a model pack directly from the Unreal Marketplace, chances are it'll probably include a rig for you anyway. I know the MetaHuman kits do. But yes, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know. If you've got any other suggestions for tutorials you would like to see, please let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Next time.